Tesla recently arranged the county fair and factory tour for the residents of Berlin and Brandenburg at Tesla's Gigafactory Berlin. The event was named GigaFest by Tesla, and at least half of it did look like a festival. Many things were showcased at the event, and we have reported about it previously. But today we are going to focus on the new Model Y that would be built at Giga Berlin. We will look at all the amazing features that Tesla showcased for the new Model Y. Let's get into all the details. So let's get started. Aside from the festivities at the event, Tesla showcased the internal and external parts of the Model Y that will be built in Giga Berlin. Model Ys produced at Giga Berlin will be much different from the ones currently being produced at Giga Shanghai and the Fremont factory in various ways. The major differences are the use of the 4680 form factor battery cells, the structural battery pack that Tesla introduced at Battery Day, the single-piece front underbody mega casting, and the latest edition of Matrix LED headlights. Since thousands of Berlin residents and Tesla enthusiasts from Germany attended the Giga Fest, many of them took videos and pictures of the event and the new Model Y developments that Tesla displayed inside the factory. A few of these Tesla enthusiasts also provided additional information they received from on-site engineers. Gigafactory Berlin will be the first Tesla manufacturing facility to produce a car with a structural battery pack. According to the Battery Day presentation last year, a structural battery pack integration to the car body results in an up to 14% range increase, 10% mass reduction, and eliminates 370 parts from production. Tesla has unveiled the structural battery for the first time in physical form, along with the rear and front single-piece underbody castings. The display board behind this setup reads as, we combine in-house cells to create one of the most advanced batteries in the world. It is not only energy storage, but also a significant structural part of the car body. The seats of the Model Ys produced at Giga Berlin will be directly mounted on the structural battery pack. Multiple persons present at the Giga Fest have confirmed this by asking the engineers at Giga Berlin. Adam Berg, who was also present at the event, talked to the engineers and confirmed this setup. Spoke with a host of various engineers on site how independently confirmed. Said it was the opposite of this process, where the pack is placed under the floor. The new pack is the floor, Adam confirmed, through one of his tweets. He also posted the following picture, where Tesla is demonstrating how the structural battery is going to be mated with the body frame to act as a rigid floor as well. This is an interesting new development that Tesla has achieved with their commitment to continuous improvement cycle and engineering extraordinaire. Now, let's look at the Model Y's single-piece front underbody casting that again saves Tesla production complexity and reduces a significant number of parts and weldings to create this structure. One more additional feature in the upcoming Giga Berlin made Tesla Model Y is the fully adaptive matrix LED headlights. Tesla unveiled these lights at the Giga Fest. Although the Tesla Model 3 and Ys, made in the United States and China, have LED project headlights, but do not have adaptive matrix LEDs. Yeah, headlights are precision LED, so they can be bright without blinding oncoming traffic, pedestrians and cyclists Elon Musk replied to this pic in a tweet. Because in the precision matrix LED headlights, each LED can be controlled via the ECU, Tesla used these lights to project the company's name on the wall, which was caught by Paul Kelly. Another amazing thing for the new Model Y was the new paint shop. Giga Berlin will have world's most advanced paint shop, with more layers of stunning colors that subtly change with curvature, Musk said in a tweet in April 2020. Now, it appears that Tesla will produce the deep crimson color that Musk's Model S sported, at the Tesla Design Studio in Los Angeles in July 2020. Additionally, Alex Voigt, who was in attendance at the Giga Fest event, also stated that a new blue is available for vehicles produced in Berlin. Tesla CEO Elon Musk 
was also present at Giga Berlin and addressed the Giga Berlin crowd. He gave the Model Y's presentation in the German language, which was very well received by the local crowd. That's it for now. So what are your thoughts about this? Let us know in the comments. Stay tuned at the Electric Arena for all the latest Tesla and electric vehicle news.